In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this cool neon line effect in DaVinci Resolve. The first step of this effect is to copy your clip. You can disable the layer for now. Open the bottom clip in the Fusion page. Find Planar Tracker. Draw a rectangle on any surface on the video. The tracker will copy the movement of the object to the line we will add later. Change tracker to hybrid point area and set the reference frame. Track forwards and backwards. For me it's not necessary to track the whole video since the line wouldn't be yet visible anyway. After that, find polygon and drag it to the node section. Draw the basic shape of the line. You can adjust it later. Next, find Proto. If you don't already have it, I'll leave a download link to the description. Click on the polygon and uncheck Solid. Make sure to turn up border width a little. Connect the Proto to the Planar Tracker and change the operation mode to corner pin. As you can see, we can now see the line. Drag on the corners until the line sits well with the clip. Click on the Proto node and turn on Outline Solid. Adjust the glow size to your liking. After that, Go to the Polygon node. Go to the frame where you want the effect to end. Adjust the length to your liking and then drag the position slider all the way to the end. Go to the frame where you want the effect to start and put position to 1. Now it already looks alright, but if we want to make it even better, we need to add some motion blur to it. Select Polygon, then Settings, Apply Motion Blur. Put the shutter angle to some ridiculous number like 8000, and turn quality to 10. Now, the line has this little fade-out effect to it. The line is ready, all we need to do it, copy the node tree, and paste it next to the original one. Drag on the corners to make it go next to the original line. Go back to the editing page. You can now enable the upper layer and open it up in the color page. Mask out the car using a pen tool. Track the mask in both ways. You can fix the missed tracked points by pressing on this frame button and dragging the points to the right place. Add some softness to the outside, and then add alpha output. That's basically it. 